Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to video number two in our binary logistic regression example. In, in this video, I'm just going to be going over the uh, descriptive section of our um, output. Okay, and so mainly I'm just going to be looking at these first few tables here uh, in this video. And so I'll just direct your attention to the first video. It says here, case processing summary. And in this table, you can see a few things. One is you can see the number of cases included in our analysis, and that number is 120. You can also see the number of missing cases, and that number is zero. And you can also see the total number of cases in our sample, and that number is 120. And so if you had some missing cases, you might want to go back to your SPSS data view tab and try and determine which ones those are. And then you can find out, you know, why are they missing? Maybe you're missing some data for one of the variables, or maybe you, you have some outliers. Um, so check it out. Make sure everything is, is how it should be. In this next table here, it says dependent variable and coding. And this is just showing you how SPSS has coded your dependent variable. And you'll remember I had yes and I had no for our dependent variable. And you should generally uh, code no as, as zero and, and yes as, as one. And if you haven't done it like that, then SPSS will do that for you. And so you can see here in this column, um, it says our original value. And it has zero for no and one for yes. And that's because if you'll remember from the first video, well, that's exactly how I coded our dependent variable. But if you hadn't done it like that, SPSS will do it for you. And it's just going to tell you that in this column. Um, what it's uh, what it's being coded to so that's kind of why I suggested earlier in the first video that you code your variables appropriately and you can go ahead and check out that first video if you want to uh, uh, remember the sort of uh, advice I gave um, our third table here it's called categorical variables codings and you can see here I have two two rows and each row is a variable and so it says, what is your highest level of education? And that is my education variable. And I have it set to display the label instead of the actual variable name. And so I'm just going to write in the variable name here. Um, and in this column right here, it tells us how our categories have been coded. So these are our original codings for our categories and so you can just check to make sure everything is is correct and here's the frequency column and here you can just check to make sure that you have the correct number of cases for each category and that's the the descriptive section of my binary logistic regression output video and in the next video, I'm going to be going on to what's called block zero or beginning block. Thanks for watching. Check out the next video.